Hello and welcome one and all, I am Old School Gamer 1971 A special shout out to Moomin and Pro Predator 49xx I hope you're all having a great day and are staying safe Today's subject matter is Third Hour Thoughts Returnal Before we begin if you enjoy the video give it a big thumbs up Like and if it pleases you check out my channel and subscribe So without further ado I've been looking forward to this one, so I'm hoping it's good. Returnal is a roguelike shooter adventure game, that's a mouthful, that was developed by Housemark and released for the PlayStation 5 in 2021. Whilst not a sequel as such, you can definitely see Housemark's earlier work in Returnal, and this is not a bad thing. After the last couple of Housemark releases flopped, they said they were stepping away from the arcade shooter genre. And while step away they did, this is not too far away from the tree. This is their first AAA title after the cancellation of their Battle Royale game. I personally think that this is a blessing in disguise, as I feel this is a lot better than the other game ever could be. Come on, they are getting a few too many Battle Royale games all vying for your time. Housemark are a Finnish developer based in Helsinki. Established in 1995, making Atari ST and Amiga games, releasing predominantly for the PlayStation since 2010. They have released titles for other systems, but they always normally release on one PlayStation or another, becoming the king of arcade twin stick shooter for a long time. After dwindling sales of their last two titles, they decided to change direction. They were working on a battle royal title called Storm Divers, but Sony had them work on Returnal instead. Having played many of their back catalogue, I now pretty much pre-order everything they make, so no pressure on them for delivering then. You play a Selene, a spaceship pilot, who crashes on the planet, then finds the body of another pilot with her name on the helmet, along with a gun which she picks up, and so it begins. She soon realises she has been here many times before. It is just that, at the beginning. Celine doesn't remember. Every time you die you find yourself back at the ship, with nothing that you have collected, but the improvements to the weapons is there for keeps. You will find logs located throughout your playthroughs that will eventually tell you the story and why you are there. So is this Returnal or is it Returnal? One of the things I noticed was how this uses the dual sense to full effect. I was worried that the dual sense might end up being a bit gimmicky. This game is improved by the haptics, using the L2 to use different fire types. This was what I wanted when I purchased my PlayStation 5. The games to feel different. The combat is bang on. You will get to know your enemies, their strengths and weaknesses, your own limitations, and your best loadout. No, there is not a huge amount of hardware, guns and the like, but there are a lot of ways to use them. Also, you will be dying a lot. This is not a bad thing. You will need to experiment. The game is not easy, but the sense of accomplishment when you get it right is well worth it. Have been seeing a little criticism of the graphics, and all I can say is, what the hell? I do not see anything wrong with the graphics. I don't know what game you are looking at. The world looks beautiful, detailed, and yet at other times, nightmare fuel. The statues and buildings look like something out of a sci-fi horror movie. Combat is bright and colourful. This is not like anything else I have seen. It has the patterns from the arcade games that you must learn to dodge to get anywhere with the game. All this looks amazing. The rain and weather effects have my jaw hitting the floor. Watching the raindrops bouncing off the floor had me die twice. I couldn't take my eyes off of it and an enemy attacked me from behind. Graphically, this is a pleasing game before you even mention the speed at which it runs with a solid frame rate.
The voiceover really helps tell the story. Sometimes it's in the heat of battle. The voiceover is not irritating. This is important as you will not listen. In turn, not give a damn if you got it right or wrong. They didn't get it wrong, so let's carry on. Weapons sound great. The sound of stone crumbling also sounds great, but the sound of the creatures mate during combat and in the background can really set you on edge and certainly adds to the atmosphere. But if you want atmosphere, you need 3D headphones. This brings the game to life and makes the combat sound more impactful. The sound really helps this game and certainly it makes use of the 3D audio. So did this live up to my lofty expectations? Yes, it did so and then some. I purchased my PlayStation 5 to play games that are not possible anywhere else. Yes, there is other roguelike games, but not shooters like this. This is the thing that drew me into the game. The randomness, as in enemies, loot, and even the damn map. This is outstanding. Adding no real loading screens, Without saying it is a great game to play, a game that was made by Housemark. Their game in history is one of arcade shooters and whilst this is not an arcade shooter, you can see where the game's roots lie. This is for anyone who is up for a challenge, but be prepared to go from the get go every time you play, unless you put the game in rest mode. I will be going back to this for years to come, because there is nothing else out there like this. So Returnal this most definitely is, and earns itself a solid 9.2 out of 10. I'm off to get my ass handed to me, it's just what I do. And it is done, if you found this video interesting or have any suggestions, please comment down below, as it will put a big old smile on this old face. Let's get the conversation started, I will answer you all. I post new content every week. Have a great day one and all, and thank you for your support. This has been Old School Gamer 1971, signing off.